Coming to you from the GVWire studio, here are some of the trending stories that are making a local impact. Former Fresno State President Joseph Castro has come under fire for his handling of campus sexual harassment claims. The school's new leader is promising to make improvements. When I was appointed the ninth president of Fresno State, it became my duty to lead and protect our campus community. And in that spirit of stewardship, I want our community to know that sexual harassment, bullying, and misogyny have no place on our campus. After a cyclist was killed in a traffic accident outside Woodward Park, city leaders are pledging to make the area safer. We are going to do everything we can uh, to make sure um, cyclists and pedestrians are kept safe in our city. We're going to begin to design and secure funding for construction of a parking lot on the west side of Fryant Road. You're going to see the community, you're going to see your elected officials, and you are going to see the families and the victims uh, and their loved ones and their memories stand up and ensure this city is held accountable. And these are results that you've seen. And thank you so much to the mayor. And the newest DiCicco's Italian restaurant has opened its doors in a fast-growing Fresno neighborhood. The legendary family name is drawing in diners. My father, Alberto, my uncle Nick DiCicco, my uncle Frank, and my uncle Bob Vitucci started back in 1956. We've just completed uh, 65 years of business. Yeah, they're all named after real people, family members, our kids. Everything in here is brand new. We have charging stations for cars. Tesla has a charging station out here. We tried to go as clean and green as possible. The crowd has been fantastic. We had a great turnout last night. We had people waiting and the bar was rocking. You can find these stories and more at gvwire.com. And be sure to join us for our live unfiltered show streaming Tuesday nights at 6.